As with all of our single line lowering systems, we'll start out by building our anchor point, fish hooking our carabiner all the way through. Creating a figure eight on a bite on the end of our rope on our knot line or load line. Fish hooking the carabiner through, locking it down and backing it off a quarter of a turn. The next version of the descender rack has all bars that can be disengaged. To identify which way the rope must be routed, I need to identify the groove on the first and second bar, ensuring the rope is routed through that groove. Once I've identified which way the rope needs to be routed, I will grab my rope and place it on top of that first groove, creating a bite on the back side to allow the second bar to lock into place. Pulling the slack out of the rope to ensure the rope sits flush up against the bar. The next bar will flip over. Again, creating a bite on the back side. To allow the next bar to engage. Pulling out the slack in the rope to ensure the rope sits flush up against the bar. Flipping over the next bar and locking it into place, creating a final bite to ensure that all six bars are engaged. Taking the slack out of the rope to ensure it sits flush up against the bars. Once I got to this point, I can go ahead and attach my descender rack to my anchor point. I'll open my carabiner, place the descender rack inside, locking the carabiner down and backing it off a quarter of a turn. When I check my system, I need to ensure that the rope does not move in the needed direction due to the friction created by the bars and that none of the bars become disengaged as I put tension on that rope. <laughs> 